from Baltimore, Maryland. Entertainment brat. So entertainment was something that was always key. The biggest influence was definitely television. Of course I was into a lot of the talk shows and late night talk shows. Most kids weren't staying up late to watch talk shows and I watched Johnny Carson. Of course when Arsenio Hall started I was big on that. The people who I really gravitated to, like I said, people like John Ritter, that physical upfront wild comedy, but it was something about Three's Company. I go that, to that because the sexual innuendos for a child to get that, come on knock on my door, you know, y'all don't know about that. This topic in particular is the common thread in amongst all mankind. You know, sex is the reason we're here. Sex is what we're having while we're here. If I wasn't doing this, There's something about allowing someone to say what they want to say the way they want to say it that gets the point across. If a woman comes and she says, I'm having problems with my husband, I, I just don't, you know, I, I don't understand. It's like, so what are you saying? Especially if we're only doing an hour show. <laughs> Get to the point, what's wrong? What ain't he doing? Um, she tunes into my talk show and it's like, so what's the problem? He's not eating me out. <laughs> so. Letting people go raw and cut, it kind of gets rid of the embarrassment buffer. Children, little children don't have that buffer. You say, what's wrong? My booty hurt. Topics that they thought were taboo, I want people to feel like they can communicate. It's not that deep. I can open up about this. Does size really matter, women? Do men with small penises know they're small? All right, how do I turn my man on when he can't get it up? What's the best way to get a woman to relax for anal sex? <laughs> Someone at home is gonna be like, man, I had the same question. I couldn't ask it because Earl was sitting next to me. I didn't want him to backhand me. <laughs> but they're, they're gonna, the open, honest communication is really gonna get people running. And that's the thing that we're gonna see. But we're gonna do it in a classy, sexy way. We are getting mature, business savvy individuals who tune into the show as well as young adults. 90% uh, of our audience, believe it or not, are women, have been women for our forum for the six years. Uh, as much as we try to get men to communicate, they're getting better. Sex draws everybody in. The sex, love, and relationship piece draws everybody in. And the fact that it's gonna be uncut, uncensored, they're gonna hear some things that they've never heard before. Because there is a male host, it does add an aspect to it that they don't get from a female host. I guarantee once someone tunes in, they will not be able to tune out.